Well, this is just incredible. An officer's bulletproof vest does the job and saves an officer's life. Incredible. Reason why they all have them, right? This morning, new information on this deadly officer-involved shooting that happened in downtown Phoenix. We want to check in with Erin, live near First in Jackson. And this all started when officers tried to stop a man on his bike, right? Yeah, and we're actually still working to get more information about what exactly led up to this. But like you mentioned, this could have ended a lot worse because we're told if it wasn't for one officer's bulletproof vest, like you mentioned, and his radio actually deflecting the bullets, he could have been seriously injured or killed. But still a very active scene out here. If you take a look behind me, you can see investigators kind of combing through this area beyond this chain link fence with some flashlights as well as a command van out here. But this actually all took place around 930 last night. Now this is in an area between 2nd and 1st Avenue and Jackson near these railroad tracks. But police are telling us so far that two officers, two Phoenix police officers were trying to stop a man riding on a bicycle in a sort of erratic type of way. Well, the man ended up not cooperated and police say he pulled out a gun and started firing at police. Now one officer shot back and as a result, that suspect was wounded. Now back live here, like I mentioned, still a very active scene. Uh, much of this corner around this railroad track here off of 2nd uh, Avenue and near Jackson is roped off still as investigators are piecing together and picking up evidence to kind of put together what exactly happened out here. Now so far we do know that the suspect was taken to the hospital where he later died, but so far he has not been identified. Reporting live in downtown Phoenix, I'm Erin LeBeau for Arizona's Family. All right, thank you very much, Erin.